Speed golf, baby. Let's go. That's your cue, baby. Speed golf, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm Jay Simon here with Adam Lorton, and you're watching round two of the Alabama Speed Golf Open presented by Analytical IQ. It's another hot one here in the Birmingham area. It's going to be 75 degrees as our featured speed golfers tee off on its way to the low 90s before noon. Adam, for those viewers who didn't catch round one, why not? And what do they need to know going into these deciding 18 holes? Don't worry, AJ. They're going to learn their lesson after they watch this one. This tournament is completely up for grabs. Uh, going into this final round, West Cup starts the day a little over four shots behind after carding a 78 on Saturday. West got around this four and a half mile track in 48 minutes, 49 seconds. Time pars 54 minutes for the men. Lauren Cup right in the mix after shooting 76 in 57 minutes and change. Lauren finally got the putter working at the end of the round yesterday. She was two under par over the last seven holes, including a walk-off birdie on the 18th. You love to see it. And only 37 seconds separates the leaders going into today. Jason Hawkins literally outran the heat, getting around the course in 44 minutes, 13 seconds. Luckily for the rest of the field, Jason was not able to post a golf score to match. Three bogeys in the last six holes left him shooting 79. And that leaves your leader, Scott Dolly. Scott cruised through his first 18 here at Oak Mountain State Park. Three birdies, only one bogey on his way to a two under par 70. Scott had to take a break on the 15th tee after getting passed by another competitor, but that didn't stop him from coming in faster than time par at 52 minutes, 36 seconds. But Jay, the question on my mind is, who is going to handle the pressure best in this Sunday round? Oh, that is such a great question, Adam. You know, we talked a little bit about this. I can't remember if it was on the broadcast or if it was afterwards, but we talked about Scott Dolly a little bit and how more than likely he wouldn't get passed in round two. He's going to make sure that's not going to happen to him this time around. And I got to figure maybe focused on the golf last time. Maybe he'll be a little more focused on the time this time around, right? But with Jason Hawkins, you can't teach fast. There's just nothing you can do about it. Jason flies around that course, and if he can clean it up a little bit, I like his chances of catching Scott. Then again, you've got Wes and Lauren back there. Lauren's such a consistent golfer, and Wes, well, he's got nothing to lose. Nobody expects him to catch Jason or Scott. Could be his day as well. That's my way of telling you, Adam, I have no idea. <laughs> you and me both, Jay. Well, it's going to be a fascinating one. All right, Adam, we're getting ready to see Jason Hawkins take the tee. Why don't you give us a preview of the first hole? Well, you've seen it once. This is a par four, 357 yards, time par of two and a half minutes. And as you can see, gently downhill, a dog leg to the left, a creek. Uh, before you reach the green, Creek doesn't really come into play. It's a good uh, 20 yards short of the green. This is a driver and a wedge for most of these guys. And really, honestly, with that gentle downslope, I think it's the perfect opening speed golf hole. Beautiful course. Beautiful course. We didn't have video of Jason's tee shot. Super embarrassing for speed golf, baby. Somebody should get fired for that. But we're going to see Jason approaching his ball after it took a little uh, a little ride down the cart path, leaving him in ideal position in the left rough. Got a little help from the cart path. Okay. Cart path help. That's a veteran move. Aiming it right up the left side like that. Really clean contact there. Honestly, Jason's got a better swing than I do when I'm taking my time. I know I've said that before. It's not the last time I'll say it. Lengthy putt here for Birdie. Get the ball, Jay. That's a short lag. All of the golfers were talking about how slow the greens were, but I think no one was more vocal in their uh, uh, in their distaste for these greens than Jason Hawkins. And that is a rough opening double bogey. Nice four putt start. You got it. Right, go. Seems like every go. time Jason misses a putt, he starts to run faster. As we get a quick look here at Wes Cup on the first hole, Adam, that camera guy sounded an awful lot like you. The one following Jason Hawkins? Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I sprinted back to the broadcast booth okay. right after I took that shot. Double duty. Impressive. 
Short of the green and two for Wes. Oh, and you can see these greens really are slow early in the morning here. None of these guys, guys and gals, would leave a chip that short. That's a nice effort and a clean up for bogey for Wes. Really nice two putt from Wes there, and you're exactly right. Wes will be disappointed with that, especially after being parked in position A, really, off the tee. I want to give Wes credit where credit is due, Adam. Three seconds faster than Jason on that opening hole. Well, two fewer putts. <laughs> and now we've got... The director takes the tee. The <laughs> Scott Dolly on the tee. With that. And the drone is in the air. Yeah. So we've got somebody with a drone following him? What is this? This is actually Scott's Skydio 2. The, the drone follows the person. That's amazing. Why do you not prepare me for this kind of thing? Sorry, dude. <laughs> Scott's approach to the first. It's like he's left himself about 20 feet for birdie here. This cameraman sneaks up on him. Mm -hmm. Scott Dolly did very kindly in the comments on uh, round one video. All right, Lauren, any pregame comments today? No, we're nice. ready to go today. Here we go. <laughs> Gonna go low, get off to a little better start today. 20 seconds. Here we go, 20 seconds. 20 Countdown's seconds. on. Lauren really needs to stop doing our job. <laughs> uh, but uh, Scott Dolly letting us know he does putt one-handed when he plays quote-unquote normal golf that's pronounced slow golf sorry oh, what a beautiful swing all of these all these speed golfers have better swings than I do look there's another one of those drones Oh, that's that it would be, the, drone drone be the same drone. The same Sorry, drone. not to get too technical. That'd be the same drone following same, Lauren. Same <laughs> drone. We can see its shadow now. And by the way, for the viewers who are wondering, you may have noticed that uh, the format is a little different from round one. Thought you might get a little uh, fatigued mentally from the memento style of leaping from <laughs> hole six to hole three to hole five to hole four. Um, said because this is pre-taped, we're viewing this as though it, uh, we're all playing the same hole, one after another. I like how you pretend we did it for them. We did it for us. <laughs> we it's were easier fatigued for us mentally. Too. We were fatigued mentally. <laughs> Tell me about it. Lauren, with Tapping a par tiny there. par okay. on the opening hole. Lauren's Very nice. Touch. Right, with the double bogey there, Scott Dolly suddenly in a more comfortable lead than he's ever seen this tournament. Jason on the 370 yard par four. Right back. Yep. You go ahead. Letting Adam, his cameraman in? and scorekeeper know where it is. Did Jason beat the scorekeeper to the ball? He did. That's impressive. Having to fire one low under the tree branches. Yeah. Looking to get up and down. Yeah, so that leaves him, it looks like, uh, well, again, yeah, 20, 25 feet there for his par. Be happy to two putt this. Yeah, leaves himself a little work. For bogey. Oh, boy. And that was a straight pull, I Jay. I was just going to say that. Oh, goodness, that did look six. like a straight pull. Go, five. Go, six. That was six. No, <laughs> six. <laughs> Jason's not he accustomed to making double bogeys, Jay. It's a lot of strokes to count. It's, it's messing with his head. Wes on number two. Now, is Wes uh, utilizing... I see it on his hip. He is utilizing the clip, right? See... Yes, he's got the C hook there for all putting. Uh, so don't bother with it, it until you get on the green. Is that the idea? Yep, exactly right. Okay. Yeah, he'll carry it in his hand until he gets to the green. 
And this is a course that's uh, is very continuous. You're almost always going uh, forward. That uh, is over the end of the green to the next hole. Uh, so for that reason, the nice C-hook putt, comes nice in putt. especially handy. Four. Very nice lag. Another tap in, or a tap in par there for West. Um, but the C-hook comes in especially handy because you're, it's not like you could leave your bag uh, at the front of the green. Right. Looks like we don't have Scott's uh, video for the second hole. This is Lauren. This is where, uh, playing from the tees, she is a slight advantage here for Lauren. She's got a great game. She's got plenty of length. Just 290 yards this par four, just a short wedge. All right, good shot of birdie here. Can we make it? And that would be her first birdie look of the day. Yeah, that's a good one. Actually, not her, sorry, her second birdie look yeah. of the day. <laughs> yeah. It's a better birdie look. There you go. Legitimate birdie look. Oh, you dog. <laughs> Almost. Uh oh, leaves it on the amateur side. Four there. I gotta remember not to talk when Lauren's on the screen because she does the announcing for us. <laughs> and with that easy two putt, Lauren best scorer on that hole. Pops herself into second place. Now that second uh, card, just for my own edification, Adam, and for our viewers, that is this round, it is not a cumulative. The little numbers would be this round, and then the big number would be the their round two total relative to par. All right, Jay, make a putt. Bogey there for Jason. Yeah. Five over right to start the round in the first three holes. That is a tough start. 192 yard par three. You notice a lot of knockdown swings from West, but that was uh, about as full a swing as you'll see from him. The, the long iron there. And it still only got to the front of the green. Excellent speed though. Yeah, good pace. You know, I wonder, uh, oh, unless it's some sort of, uh, ooh, that's a tough, Four. tough miss. Very annoyed with himself there. Go ahead, Jay. I wonder how I, I as a as somebody who's not really ever sped golf, but once sped golfed, I wonder how many people wonder which clubs uh, these men and women carry with them on a particular course. I know it probably changes depending on the course. But I'm curious, right, as to how many clubs and what clubs they carry. I think all of the golfers we're seeing today carry five clubs in their bag. There's more than one school of thought here. There are some people who play the same clubs regardless of what course because those are their most comfortable clubs. There are others, and I, I'm right. one of these, I will adapt my club selection to the course. Uh, you know, I'll do statistical modeling to see what I think are the most likely approach distances. Well, I got a little range finder malfunction here. Uh-oh, you don't like to hear that. Um, but if anyone who tunes into the Kentucky Speed Golf Open going live about a week from now will hear uh, a what's in the bag check as the player starts their round. Oh, nice. Nice lag putt there from Lauren. It's a little harder, I had it. Okay. Even par on the day, she's making it look easy. I was going to say, Adam, uh, also, the reason you do that statistical analysis is because you are what they call a nerd. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. And I mean that in the most affectionate way possible. Jason Hawkins, well, looking Jesse at his, I'm going to guess, second based on that club, at par five. Right, side right so this will be a five iron for Jason. There's water on the left. Um, he kept it comfortably right here. He's leaving himself about 170 in to the green for his third. Right side, maybe long. Pin high. Let's get it going. Gosh, what a terrible start. Oh. Jason audibly frustrated with himself, yeah. but does have a legitimate birdie look here. 
Look at that pin. What is going on with the flag? Got some lazy greens keeping going on there. I So I was the camera operator here, full transparency. I wasn't sure whether I would be allowed to fix the pin. Obviously I could, it, that's perfectly fine. So I, I fixed it for him on future holes. <laughs> Par there for Jason, so he writes the ship on number four. Wes now, his tee shot at the par five. It's just got such a smooth looking stroke. Just, just no, despite the fact that they're all sprinting at him, none of them look rushed when they swing. And I think if there were anyone to emulate here, especially for a beginner speed golfer, Wes would be the one. Uh, really controlled swing, really well-practiced head. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna pause because I, there's an interview coming Doing here. great, Wes. How you feeling? Feeling all right. Good. Feeling all right. What you thinking about this next shot? Gotta make a birdie here. All right. Gonna get the gas pedal. But yes, well-practiced at, uh, at keeping the shot under control, knows his distance is cold and great. keeping the heart rate under control at the there same is, time. So yeah, a great golfer to emulate. Great view from the cameraman there. Uh, yeah. See the dew on the fairway. This is the camera operator who That's followed beautiful. Jason Hawkins in round one, Bryson, most improved, and it's not even close. Yeah, I can't imagine that a speed golfer, a normal golfer would probably be more troubled by some of the uh, positioning of the camera operator so it's a tough play. Yep. Uh, then your your average speed golfer I would imagine because the speed golfer is just kind of focused on catching their breath and hitting that next shot. And not to mention yeah. as we see Scott's second shot here on the par 5 fourth. Not to mention every one of these featured speed golfers uh, we're skipping ahead. Scott is on in three, putting for birdie here. Every one of these featured speed golfers, Jay, is super excited that speed golf is going to be showcased to the world. So they say, yeah, bring on the camera operator. Let them stand anywhere they want as long as they feel safe. Scott for par. Bogey. Burns the edge. Picks up his first bogey of the day. Back to the tee. We're going to get... All five shots here from Lauren Cup. I'm presuming she'll make par. That's right, but I wasn't going in the water today. That's right, she <laughs> did hit it in the water yesterday. In the water. Okay, don't go in the water. You hear that ball? <laughs> well, she's still going to have a good 215 in from there. Yeah. yeah she's going for it. Good contact. Excellent contact up the left side there. Gonna have a uh, 20 to 30 yard pitch, I would say. Didn't even look up at the ball. See that? Kept her head down, immediately grabbed her clubs. She knew it was good. That is a heck of a run at what I think was par. That's gonna end up being a bogey for Lauren. All of y'all see this? Yep, we're watching. 349 yard par four Hole five. Well, I tell you, the camera operator Look, should think about sure. doing some broadcasting. He's got a great voice. <laughs> I love this joke, Jay. It gets better every time. <laughs> Jason. Looks like Jason. Yeah. Not, go ahead. Not going to let that slow green prevent him from making a run at that birdie. Did not leave that one short of the hole. He has, he has figured out the greens are slow. Back to the tee now for West Cup. That bag is so close to the ball. Doesn't bother Wes. It bothers me though, Jay. I'm glad you pointed that out. A shot. Oh, yeah. oh look, 
we didn't get to see his divot. That is yep. that is artsy, Mr. Camera Operator. Excellent shot. Did you hear Wes say no idea as he hits it right into the sun? Yeah, exactly. That's where you just trust you're a good golfer and it's got to be somewhere in a 20-yard range left or right. Nice lag putt. Nice finish for Easy Wes. Easy tap in yeah. bar there. You'll love to see it. Wes just steadily cruising along. Three over on the day. Scott now teeing off. Love that contraption still. Did look that up on Amazon, and that thing is cool. 16 bucks. I've actually got a friend coming into town to play speed golf with me. I was thinking of buying him one. Put that on the uh, on the old to-do list. Are you going to get him a javelin? I'm not going to get him the spike, uh, but I, I am going to get him the silo. That's a really nice one-handed lag putt. You can actually hear Scott trying oh to collect goodness. his breath. I didn't say he was going to make that. That's not a jinx. That is not an announcer jinx. <laughs> Two bogeys in a row for the director. Here's Lauren, 303 yards from the ladies' tee. Front tees? What's the right way to say that? I would say front tees. Front tees. Oh, and we lost Lauren's footage there. My sincerest apologies. Sorry. Right. Jason Hawkins has righted the ship, but the uh, the damage has been done. He's down in third place now. Yeah, Lauren in second. Let's see him over on hole six now. He's hit the green, got himself another birdie chance. That was a pin I fixed for him. All right, let's make a putt, Jay. In. Really, really close. Yeah, it's a, it's a great effort. I made a putt in two days, brother. It's true. That was your best one yet, though. That cameraman, so encouraging. <laughs> Wes, this is a 145-yard par three. A little short. See if we get a little better chip from off the green than we did on hole number two, and we Bump do. Bump and run That's with the spin. Beautiful. Love to see it. Well done. Great job. Great job. Great. Speaking of an encouraging camera is. operator. That's awesome. <clears throat> the director probably using a right. sand wedge from 145. That's right. Wes and Jason both made par here. Can Scott match? Going from one end of whatever county they're yeah, in to the so other. Good. That's a good five feet to go. You want to pick right back up. Tough lag. And he burns the edge again. So three straight okay. bogeys now for the director. And he tells you three three putts in a row. He's keeping score. He sure is. I'm sure he knows in time. Right in his own head. 141 for Lauren. A little short, just like Hubby Wes. Yeah. Very same spot, it looks like. Will there be two up and downs? That looks a little, a little heavy-handed. Yeah, that's going to leave some work, as they say. Well, left it on the pro side. Excellent speed, too. You take an easy two-putt from that distance. Yeah. Just your second bogey. Now, score-wise, from a uh, pure golf standpoint, I believe she's best round yep. right now, yeah. Stroke Lauren is plus two. And you notice how close this tournament is, Jay? Oh, it's ridiculous. And awesome. <laughs> Risky shot. Oop. I may have asked this question before. Jason does not use any sort of loop. Does he? Oh, he has a, a strap, so he'll put that over his shoulder when he's putting. I couldn't remember what he did. But That's exactly right. Gotcha. I've tried putting with the strap over the shoulder. It is the absolute worst. I hate it so much. Uh, left hip or right hip? You're a right-handed golfer. Left hip. Gotcha. Oh, pull that one again. Sorry, dude. Gosh, it's terrible. That was his best birdie oh. chance of the day, too. 
Still, Jason, notice how he, he just keeps picking up time relative to time par. 10 seconds here, 20 seconds there. That's what makes the, uh, the matchup among all these golfers so interesting is... I think Wes and, and Lauren are a pretty good combination of both. And it's not to suggest that the director is slow by any means, because he's definitely not. But by far the best golfer, but maybe not the quickest. Jason, clearly the quickest, but not putting up the same kind of score. Mm -hmm. it's a really now here's your one downside of Wes uh, using his controlled shots. He left himself 170 for his third shot here in this par 5. Here's your birdie putt from Wes. And as I was saying, Jay. Great putt. Wow. Nice Great putt. Excellent putt there. But you have to imagine that if he had been a little more aggressive with his first Five. two shots, he would have had less than 170 and maybe a shorter birdie putt. Yep. Easy for me to say. Even easier for me to say. <laughs> You've done it at least. The director, once again. Middle of the fairway. Unsurprising. Three over par today, all due to putting, we would argue. Wedge in hand here for Scott. Looks like. Excuse me. Knock down eight iron in hand here for Scott, but that looks like 140 yards as opposed to 170. There's your birdie putt. And the cleanup. So Scott writes the ship. 250 under time par, plus three. Notice the complete stillness right before she hits. Yep. Okay. Right down the middle, I can find that one. That to me is one of, is one of the keys to hitting, especially with elevated heart rate. Does a great job of composing herself, for sure. Mm-hmm. Well, and to me, trying to execute, unless you're really, really at the top of your game, trying to execute the golf shot faster is stepping over dollars to save dimes. Because get hitting the ball closer to the hole is way more valuable than the one or two seconds you save by hitting it before you're ready. Lauren's approach. Good look at Bird. Oh. Now you hear her mention not a good read. So we'll assume that wasn't a pull, that was more of a I thought it was going to break more right type. Mm -hmm. 46 seconds under par on the day, though. Four fives there for the crew. It means the leaderboard remains largely unchanged. Three and a half minutes. Three and a half strokes. Three and a half. I guess it's total time, right? Strokes count as minutes. So three and a half separating first from fourth here. Looks like another birdie putt for Jason Hawkins. He would dearly love to see this go in. It's not, today. not this one. Not that one. It's yet another one missed on the left side. Goodness gracious. Wedge looks dialed though. Keep it going. Five pars in a row. It's trending in the right direction for the Hawk. Yeah, absolutely is. Like long iron off the tee for Wes here in the 328 yard par 4 8. I think everybody else will be taking driver. We'll see uh, See if this pays off for Wes. Well, I got to figure if Wes is carrying a 5 iron, he can hit that thing 180, 200, depending on. Oh, good. What's the best part of speed golf, Wes? Get uh -huh. you're done. <laughs> it's a perfect misery. <laughs> <laughs> 
tests everything. If that's not a t-shirt, Adam Lord, I don't know what is. It's the best part of speed golf, when you're done. <laughs> it's a perfect misery. That's what I liked. Do it. Wes drops it in. Side door is open and Wes with a birdie. Do it. That was huge for the program, Jay. And you could hear Bryce and the camera operator really appreciating Wes's uh Wes's performance there. Director now on the same short, probably with much less into this green since he hit driver. That looked like a fifty yard wedge shot to me. Oh knocked it stiff. Can he match the birdie from Wes? He can. He gets one of those strokes back. The director threatened to run away with this here on the front nine. A lot of golf left, though, Adam. A lot of golf left. Yes, sir, Jay. As Lauren takes the tee here, driver confidently in hand. I think we're about to see another driver wedge situation. I wish I had that much confidence in my driver. Me too. Yeah, for me, I took three wood off this hole and ended up narrowly avoiding the trees on the left side. What were the course conditions like out there, Adam? How were the fairways? Uh, the fairways, as you can see, are not as short as you might expect to see on some courses, but uh, really consistent. A little damp, though, uh, on this Sunday morning. Lauren with a little more distance for birdie than she probably would have liked. Good pace. Good pace. Not the perfect read, though, and that's going to uh, it's going to test her a little bit. Takes her time. All right. All right. I'll take the two putts. Drops it in. Very nice. I'm doing so good. Thank you. Dolly's still in the lead by about a minute and a half right now. Jason Hawkins going for the short par four ninth. This is a dog leg left. I'm expecting Jason to take five iron out here uh, because you do flirt with the trees if you play driver. That is the trees on the right side. 370 yards and you're absolutely right. Long iron. Sounded good. Oh, his cameraman whistling out and getting on the cart. Here we go. He hit. How embarrassing for that camera operator. I have to talk to his supervisor. Jay, there are only four bunkers on this golf course. No. And what? the hawk managed to find one. Are you serious? That's uh, directionally right. There might be six. <laughs> That's a nice out. Yeah. Good out there. Still got work to do for his par. He was on a nice par streak leading up to this. Give me one, please. Oof. Boy, left again. Jason... Plus six on the scorecard, still under par through nine because of the time. That's impressive. Turn. Long iron for what did West. What just say? Uh, oh, he said turn, turn is what he said. Turn, yes. Hmm? Hoping to draw it. Looks that like out. he's found the right side of the fairway. Not the most efficient way to play the hole, but. Interesting, you can see where your uh, predecessor went. Nobody went where Wes is. There's no footprints over here. That's right. That's right. All right. This is third, I assume. Ooh, a little strong. This is Wes's third. No, maybe not. Left himself about five feet. Not bad. Maybe four. Boy. Camera angle looked like it was going to be well past the hole. But instead, it's a nice par. Four. Wes strikes those chips confidently, gets the gets a little check on those bump and runs. So Wes, after three bogeys in the first four holes, plays the final five, one under, opening nine, 38. Nice opening front nine. Oh no. Oh no, says Scott Dolly. Uh-oh. Director is heading for the right side here. He hit, uh, he hit five iron off the tee. How bad could it really be? I don't know, Adam. I've sprayed some five irons in my time. <laughs> Oh, 
clean look, though. Probably just left himself more than he wanted to coming back to the green, I'm guessing. Full swing there coming in, and he's still on the front edge. Yep. This is not an easy up and down, as we saw from Wes and Jason. Yep. Scott playing it a little higher than either of those two. Looks to be... Looks to be a good 12 feet to go. Bogey. Oh, confidently telling his scorekeeper bogey. And he taps it in. <laughs> so Scott out in 39. I am not doing as good as yesterday. Oh, I know. It's me either. The second day you're dragging. All right, I need revenge on this pizza. All right. Yeah. Lauren, taking out driver and see how she's aiming left. Mm. She wants to cut off this dog leg. 310 from the front tees. All right. Do the gap. Oh. oh. <laughs> Anytime she stands still to watch it, you know she's not sure what's going to happen. But look at that. Parked in the fairway. Wow. Wedge in or uh, short iron in hand. Yeah. Another nice birdie opportunity. Oof. Oof. If that had fallen, Jay, I think you would have seen her very near the top of the leaderboard. And right there, that's a, about a two-footer. Just a mm. little longer than you want to leave yourself because a foot closer and it's automatic. Yep, yep. those are Unfortunate tough. Unfortunate five there. Oh. Right, so she is about plus half a stroke to t uh, to speed golf par for the round. So Scott Dolly, and four thirteen under par through what is that? Twenty seven holes. Yeah, yeah, exactly through twenty seven holes, and even with six over par on the first nine, Jason Hawkins very much still in this. Got ourselves a barn burner, Adam. There's still nine holes to play, Jay. There are still nine holes to play. Hole 10 is yet another dog leg left. Short par four. Jason hit five iron off the tee, left himself a little bit of tree trouble, but has ended up pin high on the right fringe. You're the best guy, you ought to take small marks. <laughs> See there? Jason putting a positive spin on all of it, Adam. If you don't hit the green, you don't have to fix oh. a ball mark. Mm. And he's missed it to the right side. It looks like he's trying to compensate for those pulls early in the round. Okay. I'm good, thank okay. you. I'm trying to quit. Adam, what's your view on I putting I was a very traditional golfer until I started playing speed golf. I always pulled you? the pin, even when I was playing by myself. Oh, great job. So it took some adjustment. What, uh, what do you do? Uh, you normally play regular golf, not speed golf. What do you do? You can say it. You can say it. I'm a slow golfer. It's fine. <laughs> I leave the pin in if it's anything over, great say... Oh, no, 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 around the tree. <laughs> Always a favorite. Uh, because... That's I'm not shot. really thinking about making anything longer than that. I'm just trying to lag it close so it doesn't bother me. But if I'm trying to make it, like I say it's within six feet, I have to pull the pin. That that thing drives me nuts. I will miss 12-inch putt if that pin is in there because I, in my head I can't hit it at the pin. I can't put it in the middle of the cup because there's a pin in the way. This putt, I would have to pull it. But what? See, and that's what I would do. That? See how he missed to the side of the of the stick. I don't know. I just, I feel like it's a mental block, but I, I agree with you. That, I think that was rigged. You know, if you leave was in there all the time, eventually you'd get used to it and get past it. No, it's a good point, Jay. I mean, it's okay. there's no telling whether that putt from Wes would have gone in the hole if there hadn't been a pin in. Thank you. So he much. did hit a little too hard. You can't. And really, an uncharacteristically poor lag putt from him. Well, you've heard the term. Getting him in that position. You've heard the term firmly to the back of the cup, right? Yes. Can't do it with the pin in there. Yeah. Well, 
Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, it's uh, see, I'm I'm like a fish. I don't even notice that there's water around. I gotcha. I I put with the pin in all the time now because because right. I'm a speed golfer. Delicate little chip there from the director, and where is our hole out shot? <laughs> I can tell you that the director made a par four there. It took him two two minutes and 45 seconds because he had to track down that ball in the trees. Number 10, just 286 for Lauren. That was the fairway wood, not the driver off the tee. And this is exactly where you want to leave yourself. No tree trouble and got to be 120 yards or so. All right. Talking to the ball as she runs to the green. Straight at the hole. And this is inside 20 feet, Jay. Told that ball to sit, and it did. A little soft there. Still easy tap in. Well, that brings up another golf cliche, Adam. Never up, never in. Scott, 421 under par. Jason, 50 seconds or so behind him. Still got a barn burner here. Effectively, one shot separates them. Right. And uh, there have been enough, enough bogeys and enough birdies in this round to know that uh, this thing is far from settled. Absolutely. Not to mention the fact that Jason gains at least 10 seconds with every hole he plays. Has to. Even against these other very good competitors. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm talking about gaining 10 seconds on Scott. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm saying I, I I have to assume, and you've probably got the data because that's just the kind of guy you are. If you compared his time to the others, he's probably faster. Short of losing a ball, he's probably faster. Well, I got the speed right. Got there the go. speed right. Hey. And actually, I, I've done the math. Jason Three. gains a third of a minute per hole, yeah. which by my math is 20 seconds. 20 seconds per hole on Scott. That is live data analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Great shot. Wes, over the back here. Over the back, by the way, Jay. It doesn't take a speed golf expert to tell you. Not the most efficient way to play it. Still, look at that. That is a nice little chip. That's beautiful. That is three expert bump and runs we've seen from West this this round. I'd take that all day and every day as a slow golfer. Nice tap in par. Minute and a half, not the time you're looking for, but anytime you can put a three on the card, you do not complain. West two minutes ahead of par on the round in total. It's minutes, right? If we're talking about your total score, it is in minutes and seconds, right? Because a stroke is a minute. That's probably the easiest way to express it. Yeah. But, it, you know, if a person, if you wanted to say that that it was four shots instead of four minutes, you would not, I would not be offended. Oh, that is a heck of an effort. It. Par. There you go. Tap in par for the director. And he is just shy of one, one stroke under speed golf par. Lauren on the 131 yard for her. Par 311th. Look at that. That is what you call distance control. That is a heck of a shot. Come on now, Lauren. One time. Takes an extra moment. Oh. oh. I think that putt was left edge and she played it straight. Well, tap in three. Par, 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 par. Well, I hit it hard. Oh, huh, I got it. What are you guys looking at the trees for? <laughs> we thought it went left. <laughs> we just wanted to drive in the shade. Never saw it. 
Never saw it. Shirt par four. Never saw it. Jason, Jason. never saw it. Front edge. Oh, but his camera operator. All over it. Saddle ball. It's going to be an uncomfortable leave. Especially a left to right breaker. Something else that speed golfers. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> made a putt. <laughs> nice the hawk par. fired up after that one. That's another thing Go I ahead. just noticed there uh, as he ran to that cleanup par putt, uh, Adam. That speed golfers don't concern themselves with or don't really think about stepping on their own line. You know, that's one thing I've been trying to get over as a recovering slow golfer <laughs> is not worrying not worrying about stepping in my own line, just tr taking the fastest route. Although, I think there's an argument to be made for avoiding your line. First of all, because you, it could legitimately affect the role of the ball. Absolutely. And second of all, because I'm taking a couple extra seconds to uh, read your putt as you walk by it you, doesn't seem yeah. like a bad thing to me. Right. Oh, Wes. Great. Great that is a birdie for West Cup, and nice. he's now three under par. Speed golf par. Got you. Left. Left the tree. Okay. It does uh, it does give us a moment as Scott cleans up a bogey Five. on 12 to uh, to thank those camera operators. The, the, the fact that they're running around there chasing these people around the course allows us to bring this to you. So, uh, Just like in speed golf, camera operation, tougher on day two than it is on day one. <laughs> day one, you have fresh legs. Can you imagine if you had played speed golf on day one and then tried to follow a speed golfer on day two? That would be rough. I actually can. It was surprisingly, uh, surprisingly felt a lot easier. <laughs> Boy, some of these holes, that early morning sun still right there in the face. 309 yard par 4, 12th for Lauren. Likes that approach. Barely gave it a second glance as she hustles up to the green. That's how you know. She didn't stare it down. That's right. And front edge, just like the hawk. Yeah, yeah Lauren likes here. to take putter from this position. I, uh, I cannot endorse this move. It's just too much uncertainty in that fringe. I found myself doing this uh, a little bit more frequently. It is tough to 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 gauge the speed. But depending on the lie, sometimes those tight lies, it's tough to for an amateur golfer like us to uh, ensure you're not going to blade a wedge or chunk it yeah, terribly. Yeah. A nice putt to save par by Lauren. There's a uh, professional golfer out of England by the name of Rick Shields, whose YouTube channel is a lot of fun. I feel like everybody who's, who's watching this has heard of Rick Shields, Jay. I'm sure they have. He uh, he puts everything around the green. It's incredible. Go ahead, Al. Absolutely. That is a, that's a very British thing to do. Yes, it is. But even if it's not like a Lynx course, he's still putting from off the edge of the green. Oh, he really does. I mean, at the end of the day, it all comes down to what you're most comfortable with. Absolutely. Uh -oh. Right! Right. This is on the par 5, 13th hole. This is a, a reachable par 5. Jason was actually past the green in two in his first round. So hmm. being in the woods here, it feels like a stiff penalty. Leaves it out the right side. Did he get back to the fairway? Okay. Must have. Wait. Yep. So this he's, is... He's here in three. This is going to be a birdie okay. putt for him. Down the hill. You can't see it on camera, but this is an extremely downhill putt. It looks... Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like a and he right thought bender. He it, Jay. Oh, oh, man. He gave it the putter raise. That would have been about right. Make that one. That would have been huge. <laughs> well, still, after being in the woods, tap in par. Very tough to complain about that. Under three minutes, too, for the Hawk. Nine minutes under time par. Is that a bird right there? It was. Oh, bird is the word. 
Apparently those are allowed in Alabama. <laughs> I haven't had too many. <laughs> i tell you what, the cups are a lot of fun to listen to as they golf. Might just need to put a hot mic on them. Great shot. Mic those cups up. Yep. Wes is third. I believe that's going to be his second J. I'm sorry. Like, yes. From looks like about 215. I'm going to guess this will be on the front edge. I believe this is an eagle putt. That's more than you'd like to leave yourself. Probably what six feet for birdie there? Yeah, that's uh, that's some work. Oh, oh burns right. the edge. No, that's a Five. disappointing. What amounts to a three putt from off the edge? Not technically, but it probably feels like it to Wes. Two forty-eight. Those a quick par five. The director on the par five thirteenth. <laughs> I just can't get over that silo with the javelin stuck into the ground next to him <laughs> it's just so I, it's i mean i, I want to do i want to try speed golf i i, I really want to get out there and, and play around uh but even if i didn't i almost want a silo just to have it but it's gotta have a javelin it's gotta have a javelin because you don't want to set that on the ground the, the, the handles would get wet on an early morning which is when most speed golf is played Oh, look at that. Tap look at that birdie, birdie for the director. For the director. All right. Lauren now, just 402 from the front tees. See if she can take advantage. Yeah, I would be expecting Lauren to be on or near the green in two here, especially oh, coming down the right side. That's a very efficient shot for a speed golfer. Rangefinder's broken, she yes. says. Oh, and Wes, watching oh. there, can't give her the yardage. And yeah, on the green. Eagle look for Lauren. Now again, you're just trying to put this within a couple feet, right? Exactly right. Oh, and beautifully and judged there. Nice thing about this hole, able to put hey. the bag down because she's going back in that direction. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's a birdie on camera, yes it is. Two birdies on hole 13. And even so, Jason Hawkins, top of the leaderboard. Speaking of the hawk. Stroke clear of Scott. 353 yard par 4, 14th. Uh-oh. He knows it. Did not make clean contact on that one. Well, the camera operator can't keep up with him. That guy's carrying clothes. Do you hear him say there's no 150 marker in the fairway? And he's bogeyed it every time. Ah, uh, I wonder why there is no 150 mark. Do they expect your drive to go beyond that? I it? think it, it was just missing on this hole. So, so. I will say I'm no sports psychologist, but I would say that um, saying I've bogeyed it every time before you finished this hole <laughs> that is not setting yourself up for success. There we go. There we he go. said <laughs> as Jason as Jason makes the par putt. <laughs> Pars it anyway. That's right. Do you do regular running, like triathlons or marathons or anything like that? Hate running. Just golf? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> West Cup. I, like I hate running. He really does. That's awesome. Understandable. Oh god, this one. I'm with you, Wes. No idea Great why you chose shot. to do this. Wes, in my opinion, is a extremely competitive maniac. He can be one of the best in the country at this sport, which he cannot in regular golf. Gotcha. Wes walking all over his line. Oh, 
Oh, nice butt. Get Ooh. there. Four. Every time he yells that, I want to duck. Yet another easy four. And Wes, if you're counting, is one under since hole five. Wes is playing some terrific golf. Why not now? Let's <laughs> go, <laughs> yeah. so you got the shot. You got him out. Just a half an eight iron there for Scott. I will I will say this. I, there have been times where I've, say, been... It's usually when I'm too far... I don't have a gap wedge. So it's usually when I'm too far away from my sand wedge, but too I close right from there. my pitching wedge. <laughs> nice putt. Back-to-back -back birdies for the director. Nice. Where I have tried to hit knockdown pitching wedges. And that's some of the best shots I've hit. We got this tea water. <laughs> I see you off in the lake something about not taking the full swing that uh, makes it a little better, at least for me. I'm Wes Cup, and I approve this message. <laughs> that looks like it's heading to the right, Jay. I see Lauren hesitating off the tee. Another quick uh, speed golf question for you. I notice once in a blue moon, they will pick up their tee. Do they just carry a lot of them? I don't get a drop from here, do I? You just whack it. Okay. There are a lot of different schools of thought. For example, Jason Hawkins will carry the tees in his headband. Do you have any flying rocks here? Yeah, I got you. If you have too many tees in the pocket, it can be tough to get a hold of just one. So yeah, tee management is actually a, actually becomes a, a true concern when you're playing speed golf. Want to give us your secret? I, my dad and I actually sewed a tee holder out of uh, Gorilla Tape. And I, that hangs on my bag. Oh, nice. really good. Whoa, look at that look at approach. That from Lauren Cup, and she's going to have an easy par on the 14th after tree trouble off the tee. All right. So if you were a foot or two away, and you were a one-handed one putter like, say, Scott Dolly is, and you had some kind of contraption to let your clubs hang off your hip like you do, or Wes mm -hmm. does, would you consider reaching out, grabbing that, and tapping in? Or is it just not it's just not a concern for you anymore? Pitting? Well, if you're a one-hand putter, you're holding your clubs in your other hand. And if you're a, t a two-hand putter, uh, you, the I reason you saying. hang right, the bag right, right. is so that you have two you hands to putt. You can putt two putt. hands. Right, yep. right, 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 right. Okay, that's fair. Hey, do you want access to an audience that loves speed golf just like you do? An audience with disposable income? An audience that includes business owners and fitness lovers? You can sponsor the next speed golf tournament broadcast. Not only do you get to have your brand associated with awesome speed golf performances like the one you're watching right now, but you get a bunch of perks beyond that. If you want us to promote your brand as hard as we promote speed golf, yeah. then sponsor a video. Yeah. Send us an email or go to speedgolfbaby.gumroad.com. Uh, Back to gone. Jason Hawkins and and Jay, I have to tell you, we don't have great footage of this, but he took five iron he off the tee the right on the dog leg par four fifteenth, got himself in tree trouble. Well, I got it. Tried to hook another five iron around the trees, and sent that one into the woods. Not only Oof. that, but there is no pin on the green for him. Oh. We had to go find the pin for him. So now Jason is going to be playing his second, third, fourth shot there. Comes oh. up a little bit short, and you this said the pin the pin wasn't in the hole. They had just gotten done mowing it and had forgotten to replace it. Oh. That makes sense. That Jason is the first one out, isn't he? Oh. Settle. There we go. 
Jason with an unfortunate Six. double bogey there on the 15th. West took driver off the tee. Looks like he took it up the left side. Really an ideal line. Artistic shot there from Bryson. Thank you very much. And you can hear how hard West is working right now. Oh, yeah. Driver seems to have paid off though. Short iron into the uh, into the green. This is a very uphill putt. Will he get it to the hole? Oof, not quite, but great lag. Yeah, that's a that's good pace. Four. Nice. Always heard it said you're aiming for a three foot circle. Maybe a, which three foot putt? It's pretty long for me, but especially when you're pretty far away. <laughs> I agree with the you. The way to go. All right. Scott also with driver off the tee here on the 15th. It just drive. looks like a tight fairway to me. I it just is. can't hit drive. I couldn't hit drive. <laughs> driver on that hole. This is really ground. as tough as it gets for a speed golf hole. Uh, tight tee shot, uphill all the way, and a dog leg. So a lot of strategic elements you need that you need to factor in as you uh, as you plan how to approach it. Not a lot of not all speed golfers would take a second to make sure they understand the green. I think this is uh, what Scott brings you as a as an extremely talented golfer. Mm -hmm. Notice he looked over there, make sure he had the uh, had the lay of the land for that pitch shot. Didn't get it into automatic par putt range. How's that not turn? Wow! But Bogey. gave himself a good chance. Yeah, it's gonna cost him. So he'll drop a stroke there. After back-to-back -back birdies, just over par on the day. Mm -hmm. Ten seconds. Ooh, up the left Ooh. side for Lauren. I think it's yeah. safe. And now with Wes making a par, Scott making bogey, and Jason making double bogey, West Cup has to be in the hunt now, which he has not appeared to be. He's been a couple strokes behind most of the second half of this round started started four shots back yep it's already clawed back a couple of those so well, both, interesting both to see jason what, and scott gave him some space gave him some space we will see what the leaderboard looks like after lauren rolls this one in lauren for birdie Wow, I thought she hit that way too softly, but that shows you how steep that downslope is. It's not obvious from the video I here. Nope. Nice cleanup. Just like yesterday, uh, Adam, great second nine for Lauren. And Lauren Cup, 17 seconds separating first from fourth. 17 seconds, Jay. Does not get closer than this. Three holes to go. Let's see what happens next. Never saw it. Was it? Straight. You hit it straight? Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Good yeah. Yeah. Unable. Three people looking for Jason's ball. No Unable to find it here, Jay. Oh boy. You can hear how disappointed he is. He thought he had hit that well. That. And that is the worst. When you feel like you've hit a great shot and you can't find it. So speed golf rules. He's going to drop with a penalty stroke. Uh, and Right, but I mean, as far as where you drop, what are the rules on that? Uh, it's your your best approximation of what line the, uh, the ball was on. Not closer to the hole than your ball could have finished. Although Jason thought it was down the middle of the fairway. <laughs> It's going to be another double bogey for Jason Hawkins. Two double bogeys in a row, Jay. Yeah, 
Yeah, started and off with a couple of those, and now here on the back nine with two straight. Right, and with and with Lauren on top of the leaderboard as of uh, the last hole, it would not even be accurate to say the door is open because yep. nice. there are no doors, Adam. The doors are off their hinges, wide open. Oh, yeah. Extra points if you hit him. Wow. Didn't even, it's such an abbreviated follow-through, but it's so consistent with it. Look at that. It's amazing. It's an excellent birdie look for Wes here. He can put himself in the driver's seat for this tournament. Great putt. Oh, how? Oh, how? oh the cameraman oh. jinx. No. Four, I guess. Oh, Four. goodness gracious. Not the cameraman jinx. Oh, but Wes keeping a sense of humor, saying that'll be a good video. That looks more like a driver hole. That's There's a little more room out there. Yes. I'd still find the rough, or the trees, but definitely more room. Scott's approach here. 374 yard par four, hole number 16. Uphill all the way again. Means you're going to be tired as you hit that birdie putt. Yep. A little work to come back. But Scott cleans it up. Smooth. I also notice he's he's got that uh He's got a specific spot. He puts that left hand with the silo in his hand on his hip. It's very That's purposeful right. about that. Yep. Helps him maintain the balance there. Yep. And especially with one-handed putting. I mean, balance is everything. So Lauren, who we saw coming into this hole, a 17-second lead, taking an extra moment here on the drive. Yeah. So Wes, with that, even lipping out that putt, Wes now on top of the leaderboard. Jason Hawkins now double digits over par. Oh, let me go with the right he hand. He is looking demoralized, Jay. Sure is. Doesn't doesn't help that it's 84 degrees. And very humid. And I'm assuming Jason was the first off on the day. Yes. Yeah, I was going to mention, uh, you would expect that if Jason and Scott were leading this thing, then they would be the last to tee off. That's how it would be in regular golf. Right. But in speed golf, fastest first. Yep. Well, that is a nice... That's some nice touch with that flop. That was tough with the hill there to the left, but great distance control on it. Gave himself a chance at par, which is all you can ask for from there. Good putt. And rattles it home. Let's go. Nice. I want a one for the kids. Wes asking for a hole in one for the kids? Is that what that was about? One for the kids, he said. Not exactly sure which kids he's referring to. I would have looked at that birdie opportunity. For so long. Oh my gosh! Do you see the line in the dew that it turned left? It did. As it did not look like it was going to turn left. <laughs> that looked like a dead little left to right, one cup left bender all the way. I thought he had it. Yep, exactly. All right, West Cup now continues to be one under since hole five. Six pars and a birdie in his last seven holes. The director with an abbreviated long iron or short iron here, 125 yards, 17th. Speaking of artistic shots, Jay, 
<laughs> you love to see it. Uh, love the creativity. That's beautiful. Scott doesn't know it, but, well, everybody knows that a birdie would serve him well, but, boy, a bir oh my gosh. Oh boy. A birdie would have been a big boost to Scott there. Right. And once we see the, uh, the whole 17 leaderboard, I think we'll pause for a second to think through the scenarios. Ah, uh, thank you. Yesterday's Lauren for the tea. <laughs> Lauren, just 115 yards. She must have brought her 115 yard wedge. Full swing. Was a full swing? Did she say she slipped? Looks like she may have. Balls to the right. That's normal dispersion for me, but not for Lauren. Ooh. You don't like to see that. Eight no. feet left for par. Some work to do there. Just on the low side. Mm. So Lauren finally gives one back after a stellar first six holes in the back nine, but even on the back nine. So here's our standings through hole 17 round two. We're gonna pause, right? All right. Look at that. 24 seconds. West Cup atop the leaderboard, 24 seconds ahead of Scott Dolly. I would say a birdie from either of these guys probably wins them the tournament. Jason, the two double bogeys in a row on 15 and 16, really costly. And Lauren Cup, it's possible. Although hole 18 is a long hole for everybody, I don't see Eagle realistically being in play here for Lauren. 518 yard par five to close it out. I love a par five to close out the tournament. Is that Jason Hawkins actually breathing hard? I didn't think it happened. Driver off the deck here for Jason. Good contact. And he was looking directly at the green. All right. Lengthy eagle putt for Jason. Sorry, Jay, that is a birdie putt. Okay. And this will be for par down the hill about six feet. Yeah! Hey, hey, dude. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, finally. Nice. Dude, that sucked. Yeah. Gosh. I got rattled. I got rattled on that back. I pulled the wrong, wrong club off the tee on that hole. I usually hit driver. And I pulled the wrong club and I left myself like 200 yards. Yeah, that, the tree, long, that long uphill dog leg left? Yeah. That tree was right in my way. And, uh, Led to a, uh, yeah, a big number. Double there. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, and then you were missing a pin, missing the next pin too. Missing the next pin, missing two pins. Yep. Oh. Apparently I putt better though when the greens aren't mowed. <laughs> I guess. Oh. Well, disappointing round for the Hawk. Oh, that was a paw on the last. Best thing about speed golf, I think Adam, is the immediate post round interviews. You know, they don't have to do that, but Jason had a lot to say. Great shot. That's going to roll nice. Wes's cameraman is invested. Boy, Wes, every time, it just puts those bags so close to the ball. Doesn't bother him. Where is it? Drop over here. Right on it. Huh? Oh, shit. Back here. Just drove right by it. Uh, uh. Yeah, dude. Look at that. I think Wes ran past his ball initially. He then. did. That's going to cost him a few valuable seconds, which, as we know, are shot. at a bit of a premium a at this there. stage of the <laughs> tournament. <laughs> sure are. Get in there. Nice job. Reminder, 24 seconds separated him and Scott Dolly coming into this hole. West for birdie. And
and he leaves it on the amateur side and a little short tap in par. All right. So 74, job, two over par 74, nice even par in the Good, back nine. It. You did a lot more running than I did. <laughs> Here, this thing sucks. <laughs> so cumbersome. I bet. How'd it go, Wes? All right. Could have been good, but it was pleasant. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, fading right. Scott up the right side has not denied himself the birdie, but he has left himself in a less than ideal position here. And I think uh, even with Wes's slight misstep there, gonna take birdie from the director to uh, secure this thing. Love to see that club head speed this late in the round. Yeah. Scott has been putting in the time in the gym and it shows. A little extra waggle before this wedge. And Scott. Did you see him take an extra second to yes. stand behind that putt? Oh yeah. He wants this birdie. This is a good birdie look. Yeah. And he's gonna yeah. leave it short. Good stuff, man. Three over par 75 in 50 minutes 40 seconds. How'd it go, Scott? 75, I think. Okay. About 10 bogeys. Wow. You're in the mix, though. Like Lauren Cup on the tee. Probably needs Eagle to make to win this tournament, but still very much in the mix for top three. Excellent drive here. Nice drive in the middle of the fairway doesn't hurt those chances. Taking the fairway wood. Also taking an extra moment or two here. That's like 10% of what a slow golfer does, but for a speed golfer, that was a lot of time. Ooh, this has come off to the left. Yeah, she's staring it down. That's never, not usually good with her. Where? Up on the hill? Okay. Yeah. Oh crap, oh the blue tee. See her climbing wow. the tee box. Oh boy. <laughs> this could be an interesting one, Jay. Side hill line. You got this? Okay. Just a couple trees. Ball below the feet will usually go right. She's trying to just punch it though below the trees. That was a well, and for the solid degree shot. of difficulty, yeah, Jay, holy cow! Absolutely, look at she this. She is putting for awesome. birdie. That is impressive. Long one. Looks like a little ridge to get over, maybe. Clean up the car oh. and left and you it hate short. to see it. Right. Yeah, it's going to be a bogey to finish for Lauren Cup. A very respectable 5706. As yeah, she shoots 76. I would kill to shoot 76. I would too, Jay. That would be a, a great day for me. All right, and this is your final leaderboard. West Cup ends the tournament, two day tournament, four minutes under speed golf par. Scott Dolly just 19 seconds behind and 74 and 75 on the second day on this hot, hot day in Alabama. Very impressive speed golf, Jay. You know, looking at this too, Adam, it just, it, it shows you, I can see where Jason's disappointment is. I think three double bogeys on the day, four double bogeys on the day. That's not normal for the Hawk and two less and he's right there. Well, right substitute all four of those for bogeys and he substitutes cruises. two of them for bogeys and he still wins yeah he cruises to victory in this tournament jay it's, it is tough at the top any one of these three when they're at their best is very difficult to beat that is a great great finish 19 seconds that's insane it's like a nascar finish
All right, and that's going to do it for us from the Alabama Speed Golf Open. West Cup, your winner by 19 seconds over Scott Dolly. Thanks for joining us. For Adam Lorton, I'm Jay Simon. Make sure you subscribe to Speed Golf, baby, because we're going to have another fantastic tournament for you coming up. The Kentucky Open is coming up. We should have that one, I don't know, about a week, Adam, a week or two. And uh, you'll be able to see all the action from the Kentucky Speed Golf Open as well right here on Speed Golf, baby. Let's go. Day two, how do you feel about your performance compared to yesterday? Okay, so yesterday I talked about how my strength training, my running training has been a real asset. Well, it was an asset for 18 holes. (laughs) But I was definitely tired today. Um, And it showed in my legs. And then when you get tired in your legs, it shows in your golf swing. I didn't hit it as solid today, but I know how to get it around. I know how to score, especially if I'm putting well. So unfortunately today, I three putted three holes in a row. Mm -hmm. It's hard to come back from that, you know. But I think I made three more birdies throughout the round, so that was good. Um, All in all, I can't complain with one over for two days and somewhere around 50, 52 minutes. It's a good start to the season. Uh, I don't know if I won or not, but uh, that's, you know, irrelevant. I need to go back. I need to do more training as we lead up to world, you know, the world championships in November. So a long climb to go, but great day. Great to be here. So thankful for all the sponsors and for um, the local event hosts and Ronald McDonald House being here. The film crew, the camera operators, Adam Lord and putting this together, just amazing stuff. So speed golf is on the rise. I'm excited about it. I'm excited to be a part about it, uh, a part of it. And um, we'll see you guys at the next tournament. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Speed golf, baby. Let's go.